Hello, hello, good morning humans. How are we? I hope we are fantastic. Now let me just make sure that this is working. Come on, notifications. All right, ah, yes, there we go. Hello, hello. Hope you're all fantastic and awesome. Welcome to Tuesday. I think it's still only Tuesday. It feels like it should be a lot later on in the week. Um, I am coming to you live from outside. We are met and accompanied by my um, ironing board that I don't know the last time it was out. We're actually having, I'm not sure if you, you might have heard some of the banging in the background yesterday. Um, we've actually got some tiling happening inside. So they are doing all the banging and all of the crashing. So I thought, right, and I've got my kids at... <laughs> like homeschooling in there and all sorts of stuff happening. So I thought, right, I'm gonna come and sit outside. Uh, the background is not particularly pretty, but I think you can get over that today. What I wanted to talk to you about this morning, let me know when you're coming on and let me know that you can hear me, please. That would be really amazing. Um, what I wanna to talk to you about is your hot cold clients. I'm just gonna flip my, just in through there, there's my oldest daughter. <laughs> Good morning, Marilyn. And you got to see my washing. How lucky are you? Uh, the, the girls were just coming up here laughing at me, trying to distract me. Good morning, Tony. <laughs> like, ha, 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 I'll, I'll get you. So payback's a fun thing to do sometimes. What I wanted to talk to you about this morning, though, is uh, your, is, ah, uh, good English, Nicola, uh, your hot cold clients and the mix of how kind of we, we get into, we get into the mindset of this. So I, I presented module number two of Save Your Ass this morning and it's always, I, I think, you know, when you, when you love what you do, and you start talking about it. It's like, oh, this is my favorite thing to talk about. And then it's like, no, this is my favorite thing to talk about. And it's like, no, this is my favorite thing to talk about. And then all of a sudden you have 25 favorite things and it's really hard to choose between them. But niching and making your life easier when it comes to marketing is something that I find is one of my most favorite things to do. It's just, I, I enjoy it. I find it um, really transformational for, uh, you guys, you know, if, if we can make your marketing easier, if we can make it, I can make it easy, easier for you to step into the minds of those people that you want to work with and, and help you to connect with them and, and, you know, stand out from the crowd and, you know, do all of those things. And I'm, you know, I'm a very, very happy camper. So one of the things that is, is really interesting from a niching perspective, I think, is that a lot of people uh, coaches, therapists, business owners, entrepreneurs, you know, all of, all of, all of you amazing people, we can get really, um, caught up in the, just the demographics, just the demographics of who it is that we're marketing to and who it is that we're talking to. So, um, Tony said, this is hard for me to do, but I'm really realizing how hard it is to not do it. Yeah. It, but it's just about making your life easier, right? Uh, niching. It's not about it. it it, it's not about trying to segment yourself out of the, you know, half the population. It's literally just about trying to make your marketing easier. So most people get caught up in demographics, which is male, female, age, how many children, what kind of car do they drive, where do they live, do they live in the city, do they live in the country, do they live remotely, do they live regionally? Um, you know, all of that stuff is important to know, right? I'm not saying you don't need to know that. You do need to have an idea about about what those about what those things are. But really where I guess like the the magic comes in is what you do with that information and then how you then get in deeper with that. So once you've got the demographics, one of the things that you should be able to do and if you if you don't do this, I, I really strongly encourage you to to consider this. I want you to get a mental image in your head of the person that you're talking to that's sitting either behind the camera when you're doing a live stream. It might be who's actually like imagining who is reading your blog when you're writing a blog. It might be when you're, if you're filming a blog, who you're talking to through the barrel of your camera. Uh, it, it could be any of those types of things that you do. I want you to imagine a, a, a physical image in your head of what this person looks like, what they sound like, what kind of mannerisms they have, uh, you know, all of that kind of stuff, right? So that's the, the physical 
representation and and um, physical literal location locality if you like of of that person but as we know we are humans and we are made up of so much more than just where we live what kind of car we drive how many kids we have uh, you know what we eat for breakfast there's all of these things that that come on underneath that so if we think about it um you know why do you choose to eat your breakfast in the way that you do you know just to, to make a really simple demonstration of that there's more to you than just you buying cornflakes or you buying porridge or you buying fruit toast or eggs or whatever you might eat for breakfast so I think like if we think about what's underneath the motivation for that, it also shows people what you value, which we, we've talked a little bit about this week. So when we come underneath that and why you maybe make the choices that you make, we can start to delve into this stuff called psychographics. So the, the title of today's video is Demos, Psychos and, <laughs> and the Mix. So the psychographics are like the internal motivators uh, around why people do what they do, around why people are in the, the position that they're in, around why people make the choices that they make, around how people have ended up in the positions that they're in. So for instance, you know, if you're, if you're talking to somebody on, if you're thinking about marketing to someone online and you're like, all right, they're a female, between the ages of 30 and 60, um, they have motivation problems, they're feeling a little bit lost, they're feeling a bit confused, they're feeling a little bit like, uh, how do I reinvent myself? You know, if that's the situation that they're in and we know that they are um, that they are working, maybe part-time, full-time, whatever, they're making their own money so they're financially able to contribute to their own development and their solutions, then that's great. But really what's going on underneath that, and this is the stuff that we've really got to spend time on. Now, most people don't spend enough time on, on getting into the mindset of their person. So I, I almost want you to become this person who you want to talk to for a little while. Get yourself into their shoes, get yourself into their hearts, get, the, get yourselves into their minds and become that person for a little bit. And if you can write, even if today you do nothing else but write a story from that mindset about what you're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, what's going on for you as if you are that person that you want to bring in, as if you are that person that you want to market to, what is going on in their world? How are they, how are they tweaking their head? What are they thinking about? What are they struggling with? You know, what is their goal for the day? Maybe their goal for the day is just to get through without, you know, falling into a puddle of tears on the, on the floor in the carpet that particular day. Maybe their goal is to eat three healthy meals for that day. Maybe their goal is to work out that day. You know, I don't know. What is the goal? What is, what is it that they really want? Write that story and then write, perhaps what the challenges are around that actually happening. So what you're able to then do, there starts the banging, is able to get into more of the demographics of what's going on and really sit yourself in that story. Uh, one of the things that I find is, is really an excellent framework, if you're not familiar with it, go, go Google it. I'm not going to, to teach it or really talk too much about it today. But one of the big things that really helped me with thinking about this is the hero's journey. Go Google it. it, it's really great. And and what it talks about is this kind of like this um, this desire, the, the first thing is like this desire for something else or a call to adventure. And then it's like, all right, but they, they, they start on their journey. Think about like Lord of the Rings. They start their journey and then all of a sudden, all of this stuff kind of happens that, that's not good. So their motivation goes out the window, procrastination kicks in. Uh, maybe their friends think that they're fucking crazy, um, whatever happens to be. So they, they have all of these obstacles that then get thrown their way and then they hit the abyss, right? So the hero's journey is this kind of like graphic that, um, a, a graphic representation of it that goes around in a circle. So it's like um, call to adventure, then people along the way and then all of this negative stuff happens and then they are in like the, the depths of despair and, and, and shitness. I call this the murky pit of shitness. And so in that time, there, there has to be something that kind of, there has to be some kind of trigger or something that happens that then kicks them up and out of it. And then what happens, right? And then they get, they have some success and then there's usually like the next layer and then they, you know, whip round back into that. So if you can think about 
as if you were the person that you want to talk to online. If you were to sit down and, and create some marketing, some copies, some motivational hints, tips, uh, three steps, whatever it is that you're thinking about, get into their mindset first. One of the things that I personally do literally every day in my journal, like I'm just thinking if there are exceptions, every time I write in my journal and every time I'm thinking like, holy fuck, what am I going to talk about today? I'm, I, as we've, we've all talked about uh, this before, it's like I'm making it all about me, which is really uh, unhelpful because I'm not here to help me, I'm here to help you. So although I get the, the benefit of it as well, because it fuels me, it motivates me and inspires me, but I, I don't want to come at it from what do I want to talk about today? I want to flip it around and go, all right, what does Tony need to hear today? For example, what does Marilyn need to hear today? What does Tiana need to hear today? What does Kate need to hear today? What does Sue need to hear today? And if I can flick myself into there, I can get a mental image of the person in my head and then I'm much more likely to be able to go, all right, bang, you know, free flow. This is what I need to do. This is what I need to deliver. These are the steps that we need to talk about and talk through. So it creates a really different kind of paradigm in terms of what you can, where that, where that flow comes from. And then it's just a matter of time or a, a matter of practice and a matter of consistency doing this all the time. But literally, I'm like, all right, what do my people need, need to hear today? What do my people need to hear today? What do my people need to hear today? Or what do the, the names of the people need to hear? So that's how you shift from demographics to psychographics to the actual application of making this happen, but you've got to spend the time to do the work on this. It is not a five minute job. It is more like probably a five hour job to sit down and really delve into that, that story and utilizing the hero's journey as well to help you along. All right, on that note, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out and let me know. Otherwise, get out there, go help some people, have a whole ton of fun doing it, and remember that the world is ready for your brand of awesome and including my ironing board. I think that needs to go in the bin. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.